Hey guys, Dominic Neshi here. Today we're talking about the missing middle. Now, in Australia, um, we've been, we've got, we went through a massive development cycle. A whole heap of units came out of the ground. And then for a long, long time, what we've been developing is lots and lots of house and land. You know, we've got lots of space in Australia. So what we do, just keep on developing out, cutting up big farms, turning it into massive house and land estates. Now, what the government realized is that there's this huge missing middle class of real estate, which is effectively townhouses. Now, townhouses were in vogue a long while. And if you think of a typical townhouse area, that's Newtown, that's Petersham, that's Dulwichill. Um, it's this uh, areas where it's tighter living, but you still get all of the same good stuff that a house is, but just in a more compact style. Now, as, uh, as an investor, uh, we are looking at this missing middle class of townhouses very seriously because there's a lot of really good fundamentals that makes it a quality investment. So let's talk about it. Here's a bit of my artwork. It took me a while to get there. Now with the missing middle, with townhouses, reason why we like it is because fundamentally you're getting some land value. Now you've heard it a hundred times before, a lot of the value in a property is in the land. Now with a townhouse, albeit it's a small amount, but you do oftentimes get a small patch of grass, whether it's in the front, it's in the back, maybe somewhere in the middle. It's enough space to put a barbecue, entertain some friends, maybe kick around a soccer ball, and it makes it an attractive piece of real estate on your tenant's perspective to a number of different people. It can be older demographic, a young family, it can be two young executives that just want a bit of space to kind of lay in the backyard and get a bit of tanning done. Now, the other thing that we really like about townhouses is supply factor. Now, with house and land, it's interesting because it typically buying it in, a, in an estate and there's hundreds, maybe thousands of houses that will come in that estate. Now with apartments, you're typically getting a, you know, a couple of houses together. These are blocks. A developer will put it all together, run a development application, get approval, and they may be able to fit, you know, 30, 40, 50 apartments on these three houses that have been put together. For the same three houses, a developer may only be able to do 10, 20, maybe 30 maximum. That's, that's a lot, probably 10 or 20 um, townhouses on those three estates. So you can see that for the same infill block, you're going to get much, much less townhouses than you would apartments. So there's a much lower density. There's a natural restriction on supply. The other thing that we really like with townhouses is they're typically urban. And what I mean by that is they are a mix between the lower and higher density. And they are also oftentimes found in maybe infill areas or brownfield sites. That is to say, you're gonna find them closer to train stations and you're gonna find them in areas, developers doing them in areas where they are, there's not a lot of supply locally. As we said earlier, they'll have to go out knock over three houses and they'll do a low number of townhouses in that area. So it's tightly held supply in landlocked areas where you're going to be closer to all the existing amenity and infrastructure. Another thing that we like about them is they're a single contract. I love having single contract opportunities because there's less moving parts. And if you're buying off the plan, there's opportunities for one, for you to save a larger deposit over time. And two, there's opportunities for that property to grow in value over time as well. So it's a much less complex scenario than having two separate contracts, one for the land, one for the house. And then lastly, I love having strata. A lot of people hate strata because of the cost, but there's a lot of benefits to having strata. Strata is set up to one, protect the asset. So people can't do crazy things like change the color and paint their house pink, or they can't you know, go and decide to set up a mechanics workshop and grab the whole engine block and set it on bricks in the front of the house. 
or um, what they can also do is protect the integrity and quality of the estate where they will fix repairs they'll make sure that the garden beds are all well looked after there's high security in those in those um, subdivisions and also they pay for insurances so if there's things break over time you've got insurance inside the strata committee to look after this whole estate so having strata is a good thing it looks after all the costs and the time and things that you don't necessarily want to be doing. So in short, the missing middle is a opportunity in the Australian real estate uh, environment that is really just starting. So this whole new concept, there's not a lot of people doing it. We see a lot of value in it. And for wealthy, we think that there's going to be a, um, a boom in property prices, particularly in this missing middle market. Thank you. I hope you liked this whiteboard session. If there's something that you particularly liked, please let us know, like, subscribe, share it with all your friends. If you have further questions, feel free to let us know. Reach out to us. Tell the team, tell me, leave a comment. Um, stay tuned for many, many more episodes. And hey, if you've got some things that you want us to talk about, let us know.